The circulatory system, also called the cardiovascular system, has a very important job of carrying oxygen, nutrients, and hormones to cells throughout the body and removing waste products from the body like carbon dioxide. More specifically, the circulatory system can distribute nutrients absorbed from the digestive tract, transport oxygen and carbon dioxide between the lungs and the rest of the body, transport waste products to the excretory system, transport hormones from the endocrine glands, and maintain body temperature. The circulatory system consists of three components. The heart, which is the pump that moves the blood throughout the entire system, the blood vessels that carry the blood throughout the body, and of course, the blood itself. We will go into more details about each component of the circulatory system in future videos. Your heart is located inside your thorax, which is basically your chest area. This is the rib cage here, also called the thoracic cage, and its role is to help protect your heart and lungs. Now let's remove the rib cage to get a better look at everything inside. This over here is the heart. Your heart is located between your two lungs, the right lung and the left lung, and it protrudes a little bit onto the left side of your body. Your heart sits on top of this thin organ represented in purple called the diaphragm. Blood vessels, on the other hand, are found throughout your entire body, from head to toe, and can branch into teeny tiny vessels that are so small that they only allow one single blood cell to pass through at a time. Blood can be oxygenated or deoxygenated. Oxygenated blood is rich in oxygen and poor in carbon dioxide. On the other hand, deoxygenated blood is poor in oxygen and rich in carbon dioxide. Whenever you see a figure with blood vessels, the convention is to use red to represent vessels that carry oxygenated blood, and blue to represent vessels that carry deoxygenated blood. The circulatory system has two separate circuits, the pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation. The pulmonary circulation is the blood flow from the heart to the lungs and then back towards the heart. The main goal of the pulmonary circulation is for gas exchange to expel carbon dioxide from our bodies and reoxygenate our blood. The systemic circulation is the flow of blood from the heart to the rest of the body and back to the heart. And the main goal for systemic circulation is to provide oxygen to the tissues in the body and get rid of the carbon dioxide byproducts. Now, time for some questions to test your understanding. Are the lungs a component of the circulatory system? What do you think? Pause here if you need more time to think. The answer is no, the lungs are not a component of the circulatory system. Although the lungs play a very important role in gas exchange and interact with the circulatory system, the lungs are actually a part of the respiratory system. The components of the circulatory system are the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood. Did you get the question right? Comment what you thought down below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you want to learn more about this subject, check out this video. And if you want to learn the same thing but in French, check out this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!